everybody it's your girl Shella I hope you enjoy this craft I am making for my son is for his man cave so go Florida Gators go Gators all right so we have our wood finish that I've already done the board I have my paints which are the colors for the Gators my board is ready and I'm going to go ahead and start getting my paints ready because I'm going to do the measurements for the name, which is my son's name, Aprecio. I want the letters to be two inches each. So the board is a 16 by 20. So I'm gonna utilize the 16 in the width and the 20 inches in the length. And I'm right now I'm marking the board. And these are the paint brushes I'm gonna be using, so let's get started. And I am gonna freehand the letters. I have no patterns, so I'm going to just freehand the letters. If you wanted something like this done for yourself, just uh, hit me up in the comment section below. If you have a particular font you would like to use, I do. Um, freehand those different types of fonts. I can also use pattern font. On uh, the ink paints that I'm using, they are acrylic premium paints. And I will be doing a total of four layers with a dry time of about an hour in between each dry time. An hour to two hours should be good. And then you'll also see me doing touch-ups as well as I'm doing this project. The background is going to be in the orange. And right now I'm taping off the bottom because the bottom I'm going to do the lettering up in two inch width as well. And it's going to read man cave. And as you see right here, I have my, um, my paint pen. It's a white paint pen. And I'm going to go ahead and freehand do the outline for my gator head. Now everything's gonna be outlined in white and I'll start doing the colors as per the, um, the gator head. Now once I trim this out in white, of course I'll have to wait for the paint to dry. Once it's dry, I'll start incorporating the colors. Okay, now I'm doing my next layer of the blue on the paints. And I do try and put my paints on thick because I am on that wood board. Some of the touch-ups I'll do off camera, but majority of everything that I paint, it will be uh, recorded. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with painting the gator. And again, all the colors are going to get four layers. All the colors are going to get four layers painted. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that red button and make it turn gray today. I will be doing different types of crafts on this channel as well. And I may incorporate some in my other channel, which is Shella Creations Way. And now as you see, I'm starting with the blue and the blue is gonna be where you see the white, the blue is going to be the outline. Everywhere you see white, the blue is going to outline it. So yes, please subscribe to my channel. And give me some comments below. Let me know if you would like to have crafts made like this. I do have the boards. The boards are three quarter inch thick. A half inch inch thick as well. This particular board right here is three quarter inch thick. And the other boards I do is a half inch thick. Our boards measure 16 by 20 and also 16 by 16. This particular board is going to be, like I say, a man cave. It's just a gift for my son. And it's going to be where he can either hang it on his um, the entryway into his man cave or he can actually hang it on his wall. And the paint I'm using is acrylic paint. Premium acrylic paint. It doesn't matter the brand. Now for the eyes I'm using an enamel white paint. It's an enamel white paint. That's also acrylic. And the enamel paint is a little thicker than the premium paints that I have. That's the colors. So it's going to make those teeth and the eyeball really, really stand out. And that's what you want. So as you see, I'm measuring the bottom for the man cave. Again, as I told you earlier, it's going to be two inches. And then the letter is going to be two inches. And we're going to go ahead and do those letters in blue and again the background is going to be orange and remember if you're doing this at home to allow drying time in between the paints so the paints don't bleed together and again you can always use the fonts or you can freehand as I'm doing here if you want me to do a project for you and you have a particular font um, just list the font and I will do the font that you request.
And if I didn't mention it, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but if you're using the tape, the masking tape, it's pretty much as a guide so that you don't go outside the lines of your measurements. So that definitely comes in handy. So make sure you have some, um, some masking tape when you're doing this project. As you see, I'm also doing the inside of the mouth in orange as a gator symbol. And also a portion of that is going to be in blue as well. And the teeth are outlined in white, but once everything is dry, we're gonna take and put the blue outline on the teeth because remember everything that's white is going to be blue as far as the outline. All right, so now I'm getting ready to paint the teeth in that enamel white acrylic paint. And I'm gonna put it on really thick because you want it to really stand out.
As y'all can see, I have this football symbol. And with the football, um, I've already stuffed it and put the, stuffed it and sealed it inside with the wood glue. I'm going to do the Gators word in orange. Now everything is dry. I'm getting ready to put on my polyar bling and it will be the first layer. And then once I've done that, I'll be going to my second layer. And now we're getting ready to do the second coat. And make sure you're getting the edges when you do each layer. We'll do a total of four layers of the polyurethane four layers and the drying time the first hour will be between four to five hours the second time you put your layer on it's going to be another um, six to eight hours and then the third layer is going to be 24 hours and the final layer is going to be another 24 hours of curing time because you want to make sure that it's completely dry and there's no tacky feel all right so i'm filling it and it feels it feels really good so we're going to go ahead and do the fourth layer and we're going to put that fourth layer on a little thick and heavy because it will be our fourth layer and we'll be waiting a total of 24 hours as i stated the curing time now that's all dry we're going to turn it over and utilize our liquid nails on the backboard i've already cut out pieces of felt that i had just in the house from other past crafts and i'm taking that liquid nail and i'm gonna make sure i'm spreading it out evenly on the backboard and taking it to the edges and we're gonna lay the felt on there and once the felt is on, we'll let it sit overnight. So about eight hour drying time, at least an eight hour drying time. And that is liquid nail glue. There we have it. Now we just gotta wait for it to dry. All right, it's all dry. We're gonna go ahead and measure out where we're gonna put the nail. You just saw the hooks and the wires I'm gonna be using. We're gonna mark it an inch across and an inch down where we'll put the screws. I'm gonna take a nail and hit it with the hammer to get the first start of the wood that I, I'll be twisting those hooks into. And make sure you make sure when you twist them, you make sure that they're really, really, really tight because we're gonna be using a hammer to flatten them out. And we wanna make sure that they're all the way down in there as far as they can go for the screw. All right, so now we're gonna get our wire. And we're gonna do two loops. We're gonna tie two loops. And then we're gonna take and twist the last two to three inches of that wire. And we'll do the same on the other side as well. And now once this step is complete, I'm going to take that liquid nail and I'm gonna put um, a blob of it on each one of those 
to keep it down to make sure it does not come up. And I have another piece of felt that I'm going to lay across those screws to make sure that when it's hanging on the door that it does not scratch or make any mark. And that's just an extra precaution to make sure that the door is also um, not damaged by this board. And I also ordered some hanging loops and you'll see once everything is finished, I will show you how it will hang. But right now you see the blob of the nail glue. And then I'm gonna take the felt and I'm gonna put the glue and line it all the way to the edges and then put some in the middle so that when I get ready to um, put the felt on it, it will be all the way across and it will be completely sealed. And that liquid nail is very, very durable. It does need to, to set. So I will um, wait about another eight hours before I move forward with this. Eight hours or you can let it um, sit overnight. We'll come back to it and then you guys will see how it has hardened when we come back. All right, you guys, so it's the next morning. Everything is hard and firm, so I'm going to turn it back over, and we're going to go ahead and install the football. And you guys see how I had it all stuffed on the inside? We're going to make sure we push everything down to make sure that there's that it won't cave in, and it's not going to cave in, even to the touch when you press it. Now I'm going to take the wood, the nail glue, and I'm going to put it on the inside out of the football base so that when I lay it down flat, the glue is going to be sticking to the board and also the outside of the football which is going to provide a suction that's going to keep it um, on that board as you see i'm wiping the excess glue off because i don't want the excess glue to be on the board and there it is you guys just wait until you see this board hanging on the door oh yeah 